child. So the abandoned child, the, the term just really refers to what was not gotten that was needed. So in the first year of life, the first six months, um, if you come into this world, to kind of repeat from last month, if you come into this world and the environment is hostile, rejecting, uh, your core issue is do I have a right to exist? And you may struggle with that your whole life. And you're, you struggle with trust in contact with others to feel like you have a right to be here. So that's the first developmental task that you need to, uh, that has to be um, met. So that was last month. Now, say you're, you're born into the world and you were a wanted child. And, uh, but there wasn't enough love and attention to go around. So it could have had a depressed parent. Uh, maybe there were too many children in the family. Somebody started off okay, a mother maybe, and then got sick, uh, addiction. So the, um, the parent may have had the intention to provide enough um, love and nurturance, but uh, didn't know how, didn't do a good enough job. Anyway, the resulting, the result on the child was to not have the needs for warmth, love, and nurturance met. So it's what does the organism, you know, the infant then have to do because we all still want to thrive. We want to live. We want to make it. What do I have to do then to still be in the world uh, rather than um, giving up? So that's what we're, we're looking at today. And one of the ways to um, kind of look at all the dynamics is to use the Hilton diagram. Bob Hilton created it out of uh, the system from Alexander Lowen in bioenergetics. So that's your, um, this Hilton diagram. So let's look at what that looks like. So this is the one where, um, like as we were doing the exercise classes, uh, the exercise class, Nicolette had us reaching. So there was some reaching going on. So when you're born, there, so there's the reach. And now what I'm reaching for here is love, acceptance, warmth, food, touch, nurturing. So that's the reach. And then we get the no in the environment. So somehow I don't get that need met. And then what, what does that no look like? Um, uh, there's just not, a, not enough may have some, it goes away too soon. I'm going to spell enough in that way. Then what do I do? I'm not going to just, I can't crawl back into the womb where I got enough, you know, without having to reach for it. Um, what am I going to do? So, so what does the body do? So we adapt on two levels, both on a psychic level, the way we think about the world, what our belief system is, the way we see the world, and of course, the contribution in bioenergetics is we adapt in a body way. So that's going to be the body contraction here and the psychic contraction up here. Body. So in the body, um, let me show you like in some where you can see me. Okay, so first, do you mind, Anna, if I reach toward you? Think of your little nine-year-old or something. So I'm reaching, I'm reaching, and we first come into the world. You know, little babies, they're so bright-eyed, they just kind of perk you up. You're bright-eyed, you're eager, you have the energy to reach out. If not, you wouldn't thrive. And you reach out wholeheartedly, and you're hoping to get something, and you get a little bit, oh, and you can take it in like we were doing in the exercise. And then um, you reach out again, and, oh, mom's got to go take care of somebody else. I'm still reaching. Now I feel sad. So this reaching is really hard. If you keep reaching and not getting, it's too painful. So what you start to do is collapse and pull that energy back in. So there's the sadness and hurt here. And then the arms. The arms don't look ready to reach, do they? Look at my arms. They look pretty weak, don't they? So we're here like this. But you can't just go live on your own, not at, you know, two months old, six months old. So, so then you have to reach again. 
but look what the reaching looks like later. I'm going to reach in another way. Maybe mom needs help with the younger kids, so you can nurture and help that way. Or maybe if I grab onto her and hold, I'm afraid she's going to go away, but maybe if I kind of desperately hold on to her, skirt, then it'll last, the love and attention will last longer. So there's either a desperate kind of holding and an anger in, underneath that that's in my jaw because I didn't get enough of that. And I'm holding on desperately, hoping to get more, or I'll nurture others and get some, uh, some nurturing that way. But what I wanted you to get first of all was start off full energy, ready to reach, and then bring that energy down because that's too painful to feel that sorrow and hurt about not getting enough. So when your energy is lower, you don't have to feel as much. But it's impossible not to feel kind of that resentment and then that desperation and then you find other ways to, to reach. Does that make sense?